if you've ever run any of those old trundle sewing machines, ones where you have to press with your feet at the same time that you're focusing on the point where the needle comes into the cloth, and you have to be aware of the speed with which you're feeding the cloth into the needle. You realize that for an activity like that you need full body awareness. If you're focused only on the needle, you find yourself bunching the cloth up against the needle or pushing the trundle too fast, too slow. Things don't get coordinated. To be fully coordinated, everything has to be open and aware throughout the body. That's what you want here with the breath meditation. You're focused on the nose or in the one spot in the body, but you want to be aware of the whole body as you breathe in breathe out. Because the one spot where your focus is not doing the breathing, other parts of the body are doing the breathing as well. And you want everything to be coordinated. You're trying to combine your spotlight awareness, the awareness you use when you're trying to focus on something, with your background awareness. The awareness is always there in the senses. Put them together. And that way you're in a better position to see any defilements that come up in the mind. Otherwise, if it's just spotlit awareness, Things that are not in the spotlight get dark, and all your defilements can hide out in the areas of darkness. So you can clearly see one thing, but there are a lot of other things you don't see at all. Or if your awareness is only widespread without having a center, it's very easy to zone out. So try to make this awareness you're developing here a combination of spotlight plus background. So you're fully aware of the body, fully aware of the breath, fully aware of the feelings that go with the breath, and fully aware of your awareness. When everything is present like this, that's when you can see how things interact in the body and mind. You see connections you didn't see before. And you gain a sense that if there's a problem in the body, sometimes you can use the mind to change it. In other words, just think of the breath flowing in different ways. Or sometimes there's a problem in the mind and you can think of the body helping by breathing through the tension that's associated with the thought. But it's when everything is present like this, all present and accounted for, that's when you really get to know what's going on inside, to try to maintain that sense of centered but broad awareness. It provides a good foundation for all-around insight to arise.